Well, this little box is supposed to be able to double my Wi-Fi speed. That's a bit of a tall claim, but we're about to find out as I switch everything over to the mesh Wi-Fi over traditional Wi-Fi. Now, what's the difference? What is mesh? And does it actually work? Well, if you've got those questions, don't worry, I got you. We're about to find out. And welcome to another episode of Talking Tech with the Tech Guy. My name is Liron Segev, where I make tech simple. If you're into phones, gadget, apps, tips and tricks and how to, hit that subscribe button and let's get on to today's show. So how many devices have you got right now connected to your home network? So obviously we think of phones and tablets, but don't forget about smart TVs, gaming consoles, handheld gaming devices, security cameras, uh, laptops, all of those all make that Wi-Fi connection. It's no wonder that our Wi-Fi is getting terribly slow. So what do we do? We traditionally try to boost our Wi-Fi signal. We buy a range extender or a booster to amplify that signal to try get us that better connection. Well, this is where mesh Wi-Fi networks come into play. So how is mesh different to traditional range extenders? Well, range extenders pretty much work in the same way. You plug them in at the virtual end of your network, it takes that signal from the Wi-Fi and it boosts it to the area around it so your devices can connect to it. You see, that system can become inefficient because most range extenders are in half duplex. In other words, they can't resend and receive data at the same time. There's also very little intelligence involved. It's got to listen to all the data packets, all the bits on the network, and simply rebroadcast everything all the time. This means you're going to get lots of congestion, no intelligent routing of the traffic, and therefore your Wi-Fi comes to a crawling halt. So this is where the Wi-Fi mesh network really comes into play. Firstly, you're not creating an extension of your existing network. You know, you've seen them a lot with Wi-Fi range extenders where it's the network name underscore extension and you've got to make a connection to the one or make a connection to the other. Now, you see with these nodes, as you leave them around your property, what they do is they're able to communicate with each other to work at the fastest possible route for your packets, your data bits, to go out into the internet and then come back to you. Think of it as a GPS that knows that there's a traffic jam ahead and therefore finds another alternate route to get you to your destination. Now these guys also have multiple aerials built in which supports the multiple user, multiple input, multiple output. So basically a fancy way of saying lots of speed. Now Mesh also supports the 802.11r or fast roaming which basically means when you connect to the network the first time the first device vouches for you so as you're moving around your network you don't have to re-authenticate. So does it actually work and how easy it is to set up? Well I was actually sent a three node whole home Mesh system by Rockspace, thanks for doing that and it has all those Mesh capabilities that we've just spoken about so let's go give it a test and see if it actually works. So to set up a mesh network is actually dead simple. Basically take out any one of the nodes. What you're gonna do, you're gonna turn it upside down. You're gonna plug in two things. One is the power, the second is the LAN cable, and the LAN cable goes into the back of your router. You then take the next one and you find a spot for it, simply switch it on, and that's it. The only thing that needs to be connected is power. You're looking for the green light to make sure you've got a good connection. Yellow means an okay connection. Red means it's a bad connection. Then what you're going to do is fire up the app, make a connection to this WASH network and simply follow the prompts to set it up. It couldn't be simpler. So now that we've got it, does it actually work? Let's test that. Okay, so let's go to the middle of the house. I'm going to make sure I'm connected to the right network. This is the mesh network. Now I've kept mine separate for the purpose of this demonstration so we can actually see if it makes a difference. So we're connected to the mesh network. I'm going to fire up my Wi-Fi analyzer. Let's just get a reading over here. 468 megabits per second. Okay, seems to be holding pretty steady. Right, let's go to the point of the house which I know typically struggles with connectivity. And here you can see, as I'm walking around, it's pretty keeping pretty steady. It goes up, goes down. 526, nothing wrong with it. But let's compare it to my original Wi-Fi network. So let me quickly change that. Let's go into settings, right, Wi-Fi network. And instead of the mesh network, what I'm going to do is I'm going to connect to my regular Wi-Fi, which is a mesh, that one. And let's go see what it does to the signal. <laughs> and straight away, you can see this massive drop from 520 something to 117. 
instant drop. So you can see how much more powerful the mesh network actually is. As we go back to the mesh network, just for this demonstration, I've kept the two networks separately. What you would typically do is stick it into bridge mode, use the same Wi-Fi, and then you don't have to worry about changing networks ever again. As I swap back to the mesh, you can see it jumps up straight to 650 megabits per second. This clearly works. Check the link below for the products that I actually use from Rockspace. Thanks for setting them out. And if you're interested in Wi-Fi, you've got to check out all these videos on how to get better speed. Let's just get what we're paying for from our service provider. Check these videos out here. If it's your first time here, welcome. Hit the head below to subscribe. Give the video a thumbs up and I'll see you in those videos.